So when it comes to the mobile infrastructure market in 2018, our preliminary estimates uh, for the full year 2018 for what we call the radio access network market or the RAN market, I think it's fair to say that the results, uh, they surprised on the upside. Essentially the upswing uh, that began in the second half of uh, 2018, it was deeper and broader uh, than when we expected. Uh, market conditions continue to improve throughout the year and I think it validates the message that we have communicated for some time now that there, there are reasons to be optimistic about the mobile infrastructure market. When it comes to 2019 or the outlook for 2019, uh, we have discussed this previously but we, the outlook is now more favorable. We have adjusted our projections upward uh, in addition to LTE and LTE Advanced. I think one of the more exciting components is that um, 5G NR, it's now real. Vendors started recognizing revenues in the second half of 2018 and we expect uh, 5G NR to accelerate rapidly uh, in 2019. So overall, uh, 2018, it was uh, better than expected and uh, I think 2019 is going to be an exciting year. When it comes to the vendor rankings for 2018, we, we do a couple of different uh, cuts, but when it comes to from a revenue uh, revenue share perspective for the RAN market, excluding services now, including only firmware software hardware, we estimate that for the full year 2018, Huawei was ranked number one, uh, Ericsson was ranked number two, Nokia was the number three vendor, um, CTE uh, uh, lost a little bit of revenue share uh, for obvious reasons, and, and Samsung improved uh, a couple of percentage points. But overall, for the one through five rankings, uh, no significant changes uh, compared to 2017. I believe Massive MIMO will play a significant role in 5G. 2018 was a pivotal year for Massive MIMO, for, for sub-6 years Massive MIMO, to clarify. Uh, shipments were significantly stronger than we expected. Uh, preliminary results from the operators suggest there's tangible benefits in commercial live settings. Granted, it's still early, but it's, it's very encouraging. Prices for some of these uh, 32T, 32R, 64T, 64R configurations are coming down rapidly. Lots of innovation here at the show in terms of power and size and energy consumptions. That uh, together, uh, or in combination with the theoretical expectation that Massive MIMO in the mid-band will extend the life on the macro and, and will be the next best way of improving spectral efficiencies. So together that form the basis for our assessment that Massive MIMO will, will play a significant role, not just for NR but for overall RAN market. And I think it's not an understatement to say that the Massive MIMO opportunity is massive. <laughs>